Hey, what's up guys? It's Andrew and today I'm going to be showing you how to install Oxygen OS on your OnePlus One. Now Oxygen OS is OnePlus One's official ROM. It is completely different from CyanogenMod, Mod, even though it is pretty much just a stock Android experience. It is running Android 5.0.2, so you won't get all those new 5.1 features, but expect those to be released in a future update. Now this is just going to be a regular ROM flash. So be sure to back up all of your data. I'd recommend just creating a backup using TWRP's backup function so that you can just go back to your old ROM if you don't like the experience that you get with Oxygen OS. Now to get started, you're going to want to download the Oxygen OS zip that is linked in the full guide in the description below. So be sure to grab that. And then after you do that, use a file explorer like ES File Explorer to extract it. So I have to do is select it, hit extract to and then select the path that you want to extract to give it a second to finish all right now that the extraction is complete go ahead and see the new folder with the oxygen os flash over zip and now we can go ahead and flash that in twrp the easiest way to get there is to enable advanced reboot from your developer options and then selecting reboot into recovery all right now, now that twrp is loaded up hit wipe Select advanced wipes and then check Dalvik system data and cache and then swipe to wipe. After the wipe is finished, go back to the home menu, hit install, and then select the oxygen OS zip that we just extracted, and then swipe to confirm flash. Alright, now after the flash is complete, all you have to do is hit reboot system and wait for oxygen OS to boot. And if you want to have root permission, Oxygen OS does not come with that built in, so you will have to flash the binary through TWRP's installer. So if you want to do that, go ahead and swipe to install it. But if not, you can go ahead and hit do not install and then your system will reboot. Alright, so after the boot finishes, you will have to go through the regular um, setup process that you would have to do with any new ROM. So you go ahead and just continue through that. And at the end of it, you will get these options to um, enable the software buttons if you'd rather use those instead of the hardware keys and you can also enable all the gestures from when your screen is off like double tap to wait all right so after the setup complete you'll be brought to your home screen you see up top since i installed the super sd binary i have to finish that installation as well and but other than that you're going to have a completely stock android lollipop experience you can see that you have your regular app drawer your settings look the same along with the addition of the buttons and gestures sections where you could um, enable those features if you didn't do that during your uh, initial setup um, pretty much everything is going to be stock except for the quick settings you have this new quad icon on the top that allow you to rearrange the quick setting icons and then once you do rearrange them just hit the save icon and you'll be brought back to normal you also have the option to use the new file manager called files that comes with oxygen os it is just a material style file manager that you should be used to if you use cyanogen mods file manager oneplus also released a feedback app to report bugs and feature requests directly to their development team so go ahead and install that the link to that is in the description below so be sure to grab that apk and then once it's installed go ahead and open it up and you can see that there is a bug and feature section under bugs go ahead and enter the title enter a description of the bug that you found and then include a log as well and then on the feature section same thing just enter a title for the feature that you want and then a description of how you want it to work and then you go ahead and send that directly to oneplus throughout the development team all right guys i do it for oxygen os be sure to check out the full guide link in the description below and like always be sure to like comment and subscribe have a good one guys